year was to uh, really start talking about flexible pathways. At North Country, we've always offered many flexible pathways, but it's never really been intentional. Our goal was to just jump in with CSR feet first this year. We started a little late, and we're not really as structured as some of the other teams because we needed to first educate all of our community. We had to educate ourselves and then talk to our teachers, our students, and we still need to reach out to our greater community. We started our campaign through interactive bulletin boards and other small initiatives. We've begun collecting data, but we're in the process of aggregating it. We know this is going to be a two year or more process for us, and we look forward to continuing our work next year to get more teachers involved, more students involved, and then begin our education of our greater community. Act 77 will revolutionize education because it's a fantastic way for students to enhance their own personal learning plan. Students are able to have control over their own learning experience and their own success. Our subway map represents the numerous pathways a student can take to get to graduation. Not everyone learns at the same pace or at the same time. Offering unique opportunities to the, meet the individual needs of the student is the driving force behind Flexible Pathway. Because of the many different learning preferences, North Country Union High School offers many different Flexible Pathways. These pathways include early college, dual enrollment, online classes, career center classes, and work-based learning. Early college is offered to Vermont seniors to go to our local state colleges. It's a good option for students like myself who are able to graduate early but are not completely ready to be away from the high school. It's a great way to get a college education while still being committed to your high school. At NCUHS, we offer dual enrollment, which allows students to earn college credit in the traditional classroom in their normal school schedule or going to a college campus or through an online classroom. This credit is received through all state colleges and allows students to save both time and money for their education. Online learning is a great pathway for students with inflexible or time-sensitive schedules. The unique subject choices allow students to be prepared for a unique career path. Work-based learning and independent studies allow students to demonstrate learning outside the classroom, applying standards to an area of interest. The ultimate goal is to link educational standards to a relevant learning experience. This student-driven experience challenges students to explore their goals, make a plan, and present their learning. North Country Union High School provides work-based classes where you have the opportunity to work hand-in-hand -hand with students, teachers, and staff. Here you see images of our marketing class where students work on public speaking, advertisement, selling, and branding. This is all being done while earning a math credit. Since the Industrial Revolution, education has been modeled after the manufacturing industry. Students have progressed through school in the age-specific groups disregarding learning styles and needs. Today we recognize that each student can bring something special to a classroom, and we should challenge them to design their own path. One of our goals this year was to increase student voice. On the morning of our traditional winter carnival, we canceled classes, and teachers led discussions on a variety of topics. The first topic we followed through with was our student schedule. Next year, we will be implementing some of the changes based on our student voice. Delaney and I interviewed teachers at NCUHS and asked them, if there's one thing that you could change about NCUHS, what would it be? And what value do you place on student voice? We hope to communicate this data to the student body to help create a greater sense of community in our school. In creating our focus, we have designed a series of bulletin boards to solicit feedback from our peers. Here you see an example of one of our bulletin boards when we surveyed the student population about what they like about North Country and what they hope to see change. This data was presented to the faculty and staff for next step. At North Country Union High School, we use a poster to discover how students learn best 
The most selected learning style was hands-on. Our next poster relates student learning styles to the pathways available at North Country. This shows that at North Country you can have any learning style and still be able to find a pathway that suits you. We hope to educate students, allowing them to create learning environments that engage all learners so everyone has the ability to be successful and better prepared for post-secondary education, work, military, or life. We will continue to provide education around how to access the numerous pathways for students to access and build a system of support while they're in that pathway. Thank you. I am one of the tribe principals at North Country Union High School. And like I said earlier, we jumped feet first into CSR. We decided at the last minute to join in. We were late getting to the meetings. Helen had to come up and work with our students. But I think the reflection that I would like to really focus on today is that I have enjoyed working with this particular group of students, but our student body as a whole really hearing how learning affects them, what they want to see as flexible pathways at our school, how they're taking advantage of it, how they want to learn more about it. So I've really enjoyed um, looking more in depth at student learning and talking to the students about it because I truly feel that's where we'll grow the most. And I look forward to next year where we continue our work doing that. So my big aha moment was realizing how much our school has to offer and how little everyone knows about it. Um, I'm glad I can be a part of this group while enlightening our school about, as well as the community, about all the different opportunities. My name is Emily. Oh, my name is Emily Bouchard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Erin Sandbo, and I joined this because I didn't really know that much about the different pathways and I wanted to educate um, people, other people about it because there's so many people who don't know what's available to them. Hi, I'm Allison Fletcher and I started CSR because I want to inform others of the opportunities that have been available to me that many other students do not know about. Now that I'm at the end of my last year of high school, I feel successful in this. <laughs> I'm Zach Hamlet, and uh, my big aha moment was realizing how many pathways were available at North Country. Hi, I'm Delaney. Um, I was attracted to CSR originally because I have done three out of the five uh, flexible pathways, uh, online learning, dual enrollment, and now I'm off to early college, and I wanted other students to know about it as well because I'm really grateful for all the opportunities I've been given. Hi, my name is Brooke Gentry, and I wanted to be a part of this because um, I knew that some of these pathways existed, but I wanted to know more about them, and I'm very thankful for this opportunity because now um, I hopefully I'll be able to take advantage of more of these opportunities and tell more people about these opportunities because I know a lot of people that could really benefit from um, taking advantage of these things. Hi, I'm Shane Craig. Uh, after joining CSR, I was able to teach some of my friends flexible pathways and how they can progress through high school and life. Hi, I'm Amy Pickering. I am the Flexible Pathways Coordinator at North Country. This is a newly created position in our school building. So this process has uh, helped me get an idea of what our students know, what our teachers know or don't know, um, and how we can build systems of support so that more students can find ways to access all flexible pathways. My name is Amanda Blaisdell, and I have been really moved by being able to participate with this group and watching their opinions about the whole concept and the whole process change from start to finish. At first, not all of our students are really on board with concepts like proficiency-based report cards and things like that, but it's been very inspirational to see them now turn into agents for change in the education field. My name is Meg Norman, and I'm a social studies teacher at North Country, and uh, my big aha moment is, um, number one, that uh, the students who learned about multiple pathways, um, the flexible pathways available to them, were excited and energized by um, the possibilities ahead of them, and most of them now are 
coming up with their own ideas of what they want to do with their education, which um, is inspiring as a teacher to see and is the reason I entered this profession. And the second is that um, to work with all of these other schools and see how progressive and forward thinking um, the state of Vermont is when it comes to education and providing students what they need. Hi, my name is Helen Poulin. I'm a Spanish teacher at North Country Union High School. And my aha moment is, it's working. It's great. Students are taking charge. 